Hello everyone and welcome back to Greedfall. I've been thoroughly enjoying this game. I'm happy to be back playing again. Well. If you come to do business, you should go upstairs. I am but a poor underling. <laughs> okay then. Hello, sir. Is this the house of the man called Farad? It is I. What can I do for you? We're searching for Mr. Darcy. He was supposed to come here to do business. Yes. Yes, he did come here, but... I don't know where he is. <sighs> to be honest, our exchange did not exactly go as planned. And if you are his associate, or a member of his family, know that you owe me a large sum of money. How so? Well, this Darcy fellow came here to take the shipment, and he was supposed to deliver me a promissory note. Which never arrived, I imagine. How could you let him leave with your merchandise without payment? Well, he's the son of a very well-known family. I did not deem it necessary to try and obtain more guarantees. What if something happened to him? Nothing happened. At least I don't think so. Why should that concern me? I'm not his brother. He owes me money, and I do not have the slightest idea of where he might be. I suspect that you're not telling us everything. Oh, come on. If you have not come to repay his debt, leave me alone so I can work in peace. I mean, that's fair. I'll search downstairs where we're not being stared at by him. Greetings. If you have come to do business, head upstairs. If there's any business left to do. Why do you say that? They haven't been paying me. And I've had to work with cheap ingredients for weeks. What do you do here exactly? I create and prepare complex potions. Not simple health potions, but far more subtle things. And if I'm not mistaken, things are not going the way you would want them to. The boss has always been difficult, but ever since he got ripped off, it has been a living hell. I work using leftovers thrown away by all the other alchemists while listening to him screaming at me and everyone else all day. This is no way to live. No, it is not. Have you heard of a man called Bastian Darcy? <sighs> it would be difficult not to. His name is the only thing my boss talks about. Apparently, he did not pay for one of our shipments and still left with the goods. And now my boss makes me work twice as much to compensate for his losses. With ingredients I wouldn't even feed to a pig. And what did your boss do? Well, he spent every waking hour cursing his name. That's how I learned about it. How can a brilliant, conscientious alchemist keep working here? I am certain that any great laboratory in town would welcome you with open arms. So why continue protecting your employer? This position may not be the most rewarding these days, but it wasn't always like this. Felt another check, jeez. We'll leave you to your work. Uh, how kind of you. Well, let's see. Do 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 do. They sent a debt collector after him. You again. I already told you that I do not know where the man you're searching for is. You may not know where he is, but you did everything you could to find him, didn't you? What do you mean? Does this document ring a bell? You hired some debt collectors to find Mr. Darcy. How dare you rummage through my belongings? You could have taken legal action and retrieved what you owed, but you sent some killers instead. I doubt the governor would approve. Do you want us to tell him about it? No. But please, understand me. 
The Darcy family is on the continent. It would take months for them to reply to my complaint. What other solution was there? My shop will not survive this. Tell us who these debt collectors are and we'll take care of it. They loiter in an alleyway of ill repute, not far from here, in the science district. That's what I feared. Probably a bunch of cutthroats. If Bastion survives... If he survives, remind him of what he owes me. <laughs> Someone's a little attached and they don't even know their brother yet. Watch, it turns out that they've met each other at some point in the past. I spy loot. That was a little bit odd. you for your opinion, so get lost. Maybe he's friends with the weakling. Maybe. In any case, it seems like he wants to share his fate. You think I'm afraid? I fought uglier people than you. Vasco, let me try to take care of this. How much money are we talking about? You're here to collect a debt, right? Between what he owes our client and our commission, it's a hefty sum. But if you want to pay in his stead, my lord, please do. 200, hmm. I don't think you realize who you were dealing with, so let me introduce myself. My name is Desardé. I am the legate of the congregation, and I am here to save the life of one of our citizens. If you do not deliver him to me immediately, I will have no choice but to inform the governor. And you'll end up rotting in jail in no time. Damn it, they look serious. Yes, a bit too much. Listen. We don't want to get in trouble with the governor, so take him! Yeah, if our client wants to get repaid, he'll have to make an official request. Come. Thank you for your intervention. I thought these brutes would kill me. Don't mention it. It's only natural. But how did you end up in such a situation? Oh, I'm certain someone like you, who belongs to high society, will understand. There is a game table here that is attended by the best of the aristocracy. I lost the money I owed to that merchant while playing there. And since I got out with a few other debts, I had to leave the merchandise as repayment as well. But that's a mere trifle that my father would have paid for without thinking twice. I never would have thought that someone would send these types of brutes after me. What a lack of tact. In any case, I am extremely grateful to you. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? My name is Captain Vasco. Nought and sea given. It was a pleasure, sir. Desarde, can I do anything for you? I must leave you. 
So, storyline, quest line, are we done on that? Tell him who you were. But I did tell him. I was stupid. I resented everyone, and you even more, for the life I didn't get to live. You had it all, everything I thought I was entitled to. But after seeing Bastion, I realized that in the end, I was exactly who I wanted to be. A naught, and a proud one of that. I'm glad to hear it. No more regrets? No more regrets. And I certainly don't regret not being called Leandra Darcy. <laughs> well, there we go. Oh, hey, level 13. That's the big level. Um. Okay, so what do I want to do? <laughs> I suppose we can go for this, and that'll put us close to this magic healing and the shield um I'm gonna go for that instead. Then over here, I'm gonna go for mental power two so I can have some better magic casting, I think. I'm not sure to be honest. Because I kind of would like more magic points. More strength wouldn't hurt either, though. But we'll go for mental power for the time being. Keep doing that. And then do we want to just max out Vigor and call it a day? So what does a little plus below have to do with anything? Could go for science level 2 as well, that's also an option. Charisma... Gathering sites become easier to see. Increases map discovery radius. Contextual dialogue options. Yeah, why not? I feel like more dialogue options is a good thing to have. Well, now that we've done that, um... I suppose we could do this. But let's do that instead. Blasts, the, the, best and the, most 
efficient concoctions. Greetings. I, I have all... We also sell ingredients, and we... I imagine that for an alchemist, this island must be a real paradise. Indeed. Here we have access to more plants than we could ever have imagined on the continent. That being said, we are having a hard time determining the effects of all these new species. We will probably need several years to classify them all. So, in the meantime, we fall back on the ones we do know. Well, that's some damage right there. Jeez. I could see the cape. I was honored by your visit. Please come back whenever you want. Now, how do I get out of this place? It's always hard finding my way out of these cities. There we are. Actually, yes, I will talk to you. Your Excellency. Let's make our way. Somewhere. Interesting. I'm actually going to crank up the brightness a tad. The one that's labeled brightness, who would have thought? damage though now we're getting somewhere guys
So I need to go out that north side, I guess. There's one back there I missed. You got something Glad for me? To see you, my friend. I intend to prove to the Admiral that I fully identify as a knot once more. Without regrets, I will have to go through a test of loyalty. It will certainly be dangerous, but with your help, I am convinced that I will succeed. So, shall we go and see her? It would be my pleasure, but I'm too busy at the moment. Ah, uh, why not? What did you think of your brother? Meeting him in such circumstances must have been upsetting. I had high expectations for this encounter. I was naively hoping for some emotional reunion. And I found myself in front of a conceited and selfish idiot. Need I say more? brothers are alike, especially when they've led such different lives. Indeed. At least this regrettable adventure allowed me to find out who I am. Thank you for your help. You were very patient with me. Did you want anything else? I must leave you. Do you have anything to oh, say? No, Do you need some? I've never heard you talk about your father. He was the Donega. But what happened? He was killed. My mother. Okay, more of the same. And you know what? We're here. We may as well. I will have to. So, with pleasure, let's see what adventure she has in store for us. I can do that now. The loot kind of sucked. Vasco, I'm glad to see you again. Did you profit from your time on land? I did, Admiral. That's why I've come to see you. You want me to entrust you with a loyalty mission? Indeed. Very well. A short time ago, we lost one of our ships near the island. The reputation of the Norts suffered from it. I have heard about it. An incomprehensible sinking which fueled numerous rumors. We cannot let the land dwellers think we are losing the sea. So I need someone to investigate and restore our reputation. At your orders, Admiral, and with pleasure. The shipwreck is stranded on the shore, southwest of the island, not far from when Xavier. Thank you, Admiral. I'm counting on you, Captain Vasco. Well, I suppose. We have to go investigate a shipwreck? 
Is there treasure? Do we get to go plundering? Can we be a pirate? So much loot. North Road. I needed to be here anyway. And we have a mine. No going down to the depths it appears. That's fine though. So much loot, so little time. More pure iron, nice. Well, that's kind of annoying. Alright, enough of that, unless... Yeah, enough of that. Okay. Looks like we're gonna have a little fast travel here. I know we're supposed to look for a ship, but... Let's not. And it's a new area, so let's be safe and... judge the level of our enemies.
Looks like we've got something up ahead. Ooh, more pure iron, nice. Ah, a camp. One of three in the area. I do love just meandering aimlessly in this game. I enjoyed it in the Dragon Age games, I enjoyed it in The Witcher. My feathers. Fight these guys and then we'll be done. First time. All right. Well, that's where we're on things this time around. Next time, we'll take out those guys up there. And then we probably should head to the coast. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Thank you all for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.